does time travel really exist? It's hard to dispute photographic evidence that shows it could be very well possible. Here are 13 photos of people that may have found a way to time travel. If you love watching our videos, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so we will always keep you informed on the most weird and bizarre out there. We also love hearing from you, so leave comments too. Number 13. This photo was taken in downtown Reykjavik in 1943 during World War II. The photo shows American GIs standing in the foreground in front of a station. But look closely at the man in the background leaning against the window. He seems to be talking on what appears to be a cell phone way before they were invented. This photo is so convincing, many people believe that the man on the cell phone could possibly be a time traveler. Number 12. This video footage was taken in 1928. It shows a group of people leaving a factory. Pay close attention to the woman in the middle. She appears to be talking on her cell phone. If you look closely, you can actually see the woman talking with someone on what looks like a mobile flip phone. Then she is seen hanging up by closing the phone. Number 11. This video was captured in front of a theater for a movie premiere of a Charlie Chaplin film in 1928. As the video zooms in, it shows a lady walking by while talking on what appears to be a mobile phone. Number 10. This now famous black and white photo was taken in the 1940s at the reopening of the Southport Bridge in Canada. Pay close attention to the man with the modern looking hairstyle and dark sunglasses wearing a hooded jumper and screen printed shirt. He has a distinctively non-period look for the time. If this man is a time traveler, what was he doing in the 1940s at this event? Number 9. This photo was taken upon Brazil winning the World Cup in 1962. The man holding the cup is the Brazilian player Manuel Francisco Codu Santos, also known as Garincha. He was named most valuable player of the game and posed to take this picture with the cup. If you look directly below him, you can see what appears to be someone taking a picture of Garincha with a mobile phone. Zooming in, you can actually see the image of the cup on the phone screen. Is the person holding the mobile phone a time traveler who went back in time to take a picture of this historical sports event? Number 8. This photo shows a tomb that was opened by archaeologists in Gangxi, China, in 2008. The tomb had been undisturbed for more than 400 years. Inside the tomb, archaeologists discovered what appears to be a small wristwatch with the time, frozen at 10.06. On the back of the watch was an engraving with the word Swiss. Wristwatches did not exist until the 1800s, which makes this discovery truly bizarre. Was the watch left behind by a time traveler as part of a time capsule sealed in this tomb to be opened sometime in the future? Let us know what you think. Number 7. This photo shows a man appears to be walking around and talking on a mobile phone. What's so bizarre? This photo was taken sometime in the late 1930s, way before mobile phones were invented.
mobile phones first appeared in the 1990s and were the size of bricks. So for this time traveler had the latest and greatest for the period. Number 6. This photo was taken around the time of the gold rush. You can see the people in the photo are wearing clothing appropriate for that time period. Except for man in the middle, he appears to have a long hairstyle and a t-shirt that seems out of place for that time period. Did this time traveler go back in time just to strike it rich? What do you think? Leave a comment below. Number 5. This photo was taken by archaeologists in 2017 when they unearthed a mummy found in Mongolia which was said to be more than 1100 years old. Museum curators restored the mummy, revealing a familiar design in the cross trainers. The mummy's shoes highly resemble the shoes of Adidas, down to the laces and stripes, except these shoes are more than 1100 years old. Number 4. This photo was taken in the 1950s. It shows one of the most famous people in the world, Marilyn Monroe. But in this photo, Marilyn is not the star. It's the woman behind her that's taking her picture with what appears to be a mobile phone. The woman could be simply holding a camera and taking a picture of Marilyn but cameras that small did not exist in the 1950s. Did this woman travel back in time just to take a selfie with Marilyn? Give us your opinion. Number 3. Talking about Marilyn Monroe. This photo was also taken in the 1950s. It appears Marilyn also wanted her own mobile phone. She appears to be checking, or texting, on her smartphone. Skeptics say, she is simply, holding a pack of cigarettes. But others say, holding a pack of cigarettes, might be highly unlikely, because of the way she is looking at the object. It's more likely, she was holding a smartphone, while laying in bed. What do you think? Is Marilyn, holding a smartphone, or a pack of cigarettes? Leave a comment below. Number 2. This photo was taken in 1943 during World War II at Cornwall Beach in the United Kingdom. Take a look at the man in the middle wearing a strange suit. He seems to be checking or texting on a mobile phone. Sources say that this time traveler was real. He was sent back in time to monitor on report to Allied forces, German advancement and positions in Europe in real time. Number 1. This video was taken in Las Vegas in 1995. A boxing match between Mike Tyson and Peter McNeely. Pay close attention in the background, someone in the crowd, seems to be filming the event, on what appears to be, a smartphone. You can see the person, is holding the smartphone, in portrait mode. This is very unusual for bulky cameras to do, in the mid-1990s. Notice, the long thin shape, and the camera lens in the upper left, a similar design, in today's smartphones.
Is this undisputed evidence of time travel? Did this person travel back in time to attend this fight? Give us your opinion. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. Also turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. See you next time on the most weird and bizarre.